you've wanted a website of your own for so long but something always gets in the way it's either too complicated too expensive needs a lot of time or you don't know what to do with it once you've built it but no matter what your current role is entrepreneur freelancer or an employee looking for your dream job you need a website so give me the next 30 minutes of your life and you will have one even if you don't have any coding skills i promise no javascript no css and definitely no pulling out your hair html because in today's video we are going to see two reasons why you need a website irrespective of your role how to build a no code website using just drag and drop i'm going to show you a step by step procedure to create a resume website like this one that you can use to apply for jobs I'll also tell you why a resume website is important in a moment. A step-by-step -step procedure to build a blog website. And towards the end, I'll give you a bonus tip about how you can use your website to earn money. And if you find this video useful, don't forget to hit that like button because it motivates me to make more videos. Let's begin. <laughs> Sugand had started his career as a software developer. A few years back, he shifted his career and became a product manager. But his old resume is still doing rounds among recruiters, and all the calls he gets are for his old role that he is not interested in anymore. And guess how many random calls he gets for his new role as a product manager? Zero. PDFs get outdated as soon as you send them, and one of the ways to solve that is to mention the link to your resume website in the PDF document that you are applying to jobs with. So when hiring managers open your resume, they click on your website link and get to know all about the new skills you have acquired or a new role you have shifted to or the latest achievements you have highlighted. With a website, you have the power to control what you want to highlight at different stages in your career. But even more than that, a website lets you discover who you really are. Back in 2013, I used to have a WordPress blog where I wrote movie reviews just for time pass. It during this time I discovered that I really liked writing and that's the profession I want to shift to from being a software engineer. One thing led to another. I took up freelance writing jobs, wrote multiple speeches as a toastmaster and now write crisp to the point videos for you. And these are the two main reasons why you need a website for the world to discover who you are but also for you to discover who you are. So it doesn't matter if you're a freelancer and employee looking for a dream job or if you're someone who's trying to discover who you really are. Today's video is for you. Let's build that website you've always wanted. To build a website, you need two things. Number 1, domain name, which is an easy to remember name that people will use to reach your website. Just like you use youtube.com to reach youtube or google.com to reach google. And number 2, a website hosting service. This is an online service that makes your website accessible 24 cross 7. Provide services to store the images and text of your website and more. You can get a domain name first and then choose a hosting service or you can choose a hosting plan and then buy a domain name later. Doesn't really matter, your users won't know the difference. All that matters is what you post on your website. You can buy a hosting plan from any of these providers. For this video's demo, I'm going to use Hostinger because they are pocket friendly. plus they provide a free domain free ssl free email 100 gb ssd storage but more importantly they have a great customer support team that patiently answers all of your website billing queries i'll tell you more about why we chose hostinger to sponsor this video while i tell you about their features a little bit later but remember i'm going to show you a wordpress tutorial today so no matter what provider you choose all the steps will remain the same so without further ado let's build a website i've divided the entire process into three steps getting hosting and domain website setup and website design all of these three are quick steps so try not to blink first let's get domain and hosting from whichever provider you want i am going to get it from hostinger if you think hostinger is the right option for you too then i've got a discount coupon for you to access it scroll down and click on the link mentioned in the description of this video the discount coupon will be automatically applied to your package select premium web hosting It allows you to host up to 100 websites and it includes a free domain. Click on add to cart. You can choose any of these options, but I would suggest you choose 48 months because you would want to keep your website active for 4 years at least. So 48 months is a good option. Enter the email address that you would want to use while logging in. Pick the payment option that works best for you. 
As you can see, if you use the link in the description of this video, the coupon code TUF7 will be automatically applied to your package to get you a sweet discount. One of the good things about Hostinger is that it comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Click on this button right here and complete the payment. And then we can move on to the next step of setting up your website. Congratulations, we have completed the first step of getting a hosting plan. And we got a free domain with it. Moving on to step number two, which is setting up the website. Go to Hostinger and log in with the email ID you've used while making the payment. Here's a tip. Remember this URL, hpanel.hostinger.com. It's like the control room from where you can navigate to managing all your website, domains, everything. This is what your hpanel will look like at first. Click on setup next to the plan you've just bought. Click on start now and answer some basic questions about the website you want to build. Your experience level. I'm going to select creating my first website. Select WordPress because that's what we want to build. Create your WordPress account by entering your email ID and setting up a password. Click on continue. Here you can choose the layout of your website, but let's take care of this step later. For now, let's hit skip. This is where you can choose the free domain name that comes with the plan. Hit select under claim a free domain. Turns out the domain name I want is available. .com is also available. That's quite rare. I'll quickly claim this one. Here's a tip. If you want a website that's similar to your name like Arun Grover, Sanahak or Neville Longbottom, you might want to claim that domain name as soon as possible or the next best available name. This also applies if you want to start a blog or a business and have a specific name in mind. Claim that domain as soon as possible. Alright, so I'm happy with this domain name. I'm going to click on continue, then finish setup. Fill out your details to finish the registration process. Select your country, your contact details and click on finish registration. This might take a moment. A moment. Another moment. Just a few more seconds. There you go. And you'll finally see this message that your website is ready. Now click on manage WordPress. This will take you to the WordPress dashboard. The first thing you might want to do is set up your SSL certificate. You can either find this option right here or you can go to this tab that says SSL. You need an SSL certificate to convey trust to your users that their data is secure on your website. This way, your website will do well in search engine rankings. But more importantly, you don't want users to see this nasty message that appears if your website does not have an SSL certificate. So to avoid all of this, just click on Setup. Click on install SSL and you will see a status that says installing, which might take a couple of minutes. Give your domain a few minutes to get fully active. And this completes step number two, which is setting up your website. Easy peasy. Now that we have the initial setup out of the way, it's time to get all those creative juices flowing. Because in this third step, we're going to design our website. And to help us design, we're going to import some themes, builders, and use some pre-existing templates, which will make our job easier because we don't have all day to design. For that, let's click on home. Scroll down and click on this button right here titled edit website. This is how you'll reach the WordPress dashboard. Click on edit website again. Here's a tip. In case you lose your way and have trouble reaching the WordPress dashboard, then the easiest way to do that is to enter your domain name slash WP hyphen admin in the address bar. Once you've reached the WordPress dashboard, it's time to get a base theme. Now, what is a theme? A theme decides the overall layout of your website, the color, appearance, font. You can obviously choose to customize this later. To get one, let's go to appearance on our WordPress dashboard and click on themes. You can choose the theme you want. For this demo, I'm using Astra because it's one of the best WordPress themes. It's lightweight and easy to use. Click on Add Theme, search for Astra and hit Install. Give it a few seconds and don't forget to click Activate. After that, click on this Get Started button so that we reach our starter templates. A starter template is a library of hundreds of pages and templates already created by professional designers to make our website design job easier. You will reach this induction sort of a video, scroll down and hit build your website now. By the way, in my browser, I could not find this button at first and I kept going back and forth. So remember to scroll down. Here's where you select a page builder. A page builder is like your best friend because it allows you to edit these pre-existing templates that these designers have built without you having to write any code. I'm going to select Elementor because it's easier to use and intuitive. And we will finally reach this page where we can select a template depending on the kind of website we want to build. 
as you can see there are multiple templates here whether you want it to be a business website personal care professional personal site blog comment and tell me what kind of a website you are planning to build for example i want to build a business website or i want to build a blog website this will help us plan our future videos better congratulations we are done with the three basic steps of building a website structure this is where it gets different for folks who want to build a resume website and for folks who want a blog if you just want to build a blog you can directly go to this minute but if you want to build a resume website keep watching and if you want the best of both worlds which is a resume website and a blog subsection in that case as well keep watching if you faced any issues while doing these three steps you know with ssl or themes then comment below and let us know either me or somebody who has faced the same issue as you might reply with a solution in this section i'm going to show you the step by step procedure of designing a basic portfolio or a cv website and how you can further customize it to suit your profile in continuation with where we left off in the previous section under personal site select portfolio and cv and check out the starter templates present under this category i really like these two free templates personal portfolio one which lists basic skills portfolio a video that shows her working process and testimonials but there's another one called portfolio and cv this layout is not bad either i especially like these bars used to represent skills All right. So I'm going to use this one, but there are few elements that I liked in the previous template as well. So I'm going to use ideas from both of these templates to build a resume website that's unique to me. The first thing it's asking me for is a logo. If you want a logo, feel free to upload it here though. I don't think I need one. I'm going to click on skip now. I like the current colors and fonts, so I'll say continue. Fill up these basic details and hit the submit and build website button. Thank you very much. It wouldn't hurt to watch this induction video on personalizing your website but let's accept it you're watching the best video there is on it already zero point for humility let's click on view your website and voila this is what my portfolio website looks like currently clearly this is alex james's profile i do not want him hired instead of me so let's make some changes i have divided this entire process into three simple steps the first step is to get rid of things i don't want i call this the maria condo step for this click on this button title edit with elementor now let's remove sections we don't want i'm not going to put up my phone number on the website so i'll click on it and hit this cross button on the left hand side panel i let the about me be This section explains about me in detail. I don't really want that, so I'll remove it. This is what I do part. I'll keep it for now because I'm not sure whether I'd like to put something here or not. I definitely don't want this hovering photo of Alex, but maybe I can put something else here. I'll think about it. I'm definitely keeping the skills and my experience parts. If you're a graphic designer, you can keep this portfolio part to display your artwork, but I don't want it, so I'm going to hit this cross button and let it go. This get in touch is a little too much on the nose. Let's remember to remove this when we edit the photo. If you want to keep any of the sections that I have deleted, feel free to do so. After you're done removing sections you don't want, in the second step, add what you like. It's like going shopping. If you remember from the first template we saw, I had liked that video and testimonial section. Maybe I want to put that here. Click on this grid like icon and drag and drop a video element here. Now if you think that you can talk about the work you do better through text then use text widgets but if your job can be explained better with a video then either record a 1 minute video talking to the camera about the job you do or just make a video that showcases your work which can even be a simple ppt with your voice in the background don't be afraid to use video as a medium to brag about your work because it really helps the recruiter to know you better i'll keep this placeholder video for now I also want to add a testimonial section but instead of dragging and dropping a basic element I would like something cleaner so I'll click this icon and as you can see I can import complete pages or blogs which already have some neat designs since I only want a testimonial section I'll search for it in blogs and pick the one I like click on import blog and customize it the way I like I'm going to change all these details later After you've decided on the skeleton of your website, don't forget to click on update. Now the third step is about filling in your details. For that, keep these two documents handy. First is your resume and second is your LinkedIn profile. It'll make editing super simple. If you don't have a resume, 
You can check out this video about how to create a neat resume using free Google templates. I'm leaving this video's link in the description. So let's edit our website. I'm going to change these sections and include my details. Replace Alex's photo with mine. In About Me, you can enter a quick summary of your work experience or your qualifications. It's just like how we discussed introducing ourselves in this interview preparation video titled Tell Me About Yourself. In case you haven't watched it already, I've left this video's link in the description. To edit this video section, click on this blue edit icon in the top right corner. And in this panel that appears, add your video's URL. Again, you can completely skip this step and use a text box to talk about your skills as well. Let's see if I can find an image for here from the free library. Okay, good enough for now. I'll click on insert media. Over here, I'm going to enter the skills and rate them accordingly. If you want to add more bars, just right click and say duplicate. If you want to remove them, right click and delete. Here's a career tip. Whenever you're rating your skill, always have a reason to justify that rating. A friend of mine, Kashif, who works for a company in Poland, said that whenever he's interviewing someone, he asks them why they give themselves those many stars or this percentage for skills in their resume. And apparently, more often than not, they do not have an answer. Someone even said that they copy-pasted it from a friend. You don't want that to be a red flag during your interview. So justify your ratings. For example, I can say that I am giving myself 90 for public speaking because I was a Toastmaster for four years and have won multiple public speaking contests. If you're giving yourself 80% for Java, talk about the projects you did and how you know not just the basics, but also intermediate Java programming. I'm going to quickly edit this my experience section. This is where my resume will come in handy. And last, we have the testimonial section. Back then, I had vehemently followed up with my team lead for a LinkedIn testimonial. So I'm going to copy paste it right here. I even have some testimonials from the brands I've worked with for their marketing campaigns, but I'm not sure if it fits with the vibe of this website. If you also have this confusion where you have a main profession, but also have like a side hustle that's completely different, then having two separate websites would perhaps make sense. And it's possible to do that in this premium plan you just purchased, which supports up to 100 websites. I will show you how to build a second website and add it to this plan in the next section. After you're done entering your details, don't forget to hit update. Now let's see how our website is looking. Click on this menu icon here and select view page. All right, so the header still says Alex James and it has a bunch of pages in the menu that I do not want. For now, I only want to keep this home page and the contact page. So I'm going to remove the rest. But I do want another page here in the header, which can be used as a blog to post my thoughts, reviews, etc. And I'm going to show you how to do that in the next section. So hold your horses. For now, to edit our header and footer, let's click on Customize. And then I'm going to click on Header Builder. I really don't want a logo, so I'm going to remove it completely. To remove these extra pages, I'll click on Primary Menu. I'll click on this button, Configure Menu from here. Edit Primary Menu. I'm going to remove the pages I don't want. And hit Publish. Alright, it looks good. Let's go to the Footer Builder. I do not like this widget at all. I'm going to get rid of this completely. Don't be afraid to click on this plus button and play around with these icons to see how you can, you know, further customize your footer. I'm going to use the socials widget instead. I will add a link to my YouTube and keep LinkedIn as well. If you're a designer, I would encourage you to add links to Behance or Dribbble or GitHub if you're a programmer. Click on this drop down and see what options you have and go bananas. After you're done highlighting the socials you want, hit publish. You can even edit out the contact page in a similar fashion. But make sure you test out this form and see if you're receiving the messages in your mailbox or not. Let's see how our website is looking now. Not bad. There are some blank spaces in between these sections that I'm going to edit out later using Elementor. Now that I look at it, uh, I don't think I like the video here. I'm going to remove it. And that is the beauty of it. Changing the website is so easy. So you're allowed to change your mind as much as you want. 
after some time if you get a promotion or a new job or an appreciation mail from a client and you want to highlight it through some section then you can always come back to the website and make those changes all by yourself the best part about life is that we change and it's good to have a website that gives you the room to grow the next time you see my website there will be new things a new design to reflect the changes in my life or at least i'm hoping if you remember i earlier said that i'm going to add a new page here and treat it like a blog to know how to do that let's move on to the next section Let's start by understanding what is a blog. A blog is simply an online journal, a personal weblog, and a place for you to share information or opinion. We have food blogs, technology blogs, movie review blogs, or just a blog to rant. In this section, I'm going to share with you four ways of building one. First is building one blog website. The second is adding an extra page on the resume website and treating that as a blog page. The third is creating a blog subdomain to the resume website. and for this creating a second blog website and adding that to your premium plan i know i know this sounds confusing but give me a few minutes to give you a quick demo and all of this will appear easy peasy and you can choose for yourself which option suits you best let's start with building just a blog website you should choose this option when you don't want to build any other website apart from your blog website in that case let's continue where we left off in the first section at this minute To sum it up, we had completed our initial steps of getting a domain, SSL, theme builder, and we're ready to choose our starter template. And we were on this page. Go to this blog dropdown and check out your options. There are premium options, sure, but there are quite a few good free options as well. I like this one that says Sierra Nature. So I'm going to select that. No, I do not want to upload a logo, and I like the current colors. After entering a few basic details I'll click on submit and build my website. And now we wait. And we are done. Click on view your website and voila your blog website is ready. As we discussed while building the resume website, the first thing I like to do is get rid of sections I do not want aka the Maria Kondo step. For that I'll click on edit with elementor. As you can see a panel appears on your left which allows you to customize this page. I do not want this button so I'll right click and delete it. Since this is a new blog I can't think of any sections to highlight here so I am going ahead and deleting these sections for now. And that's the best part about editing with Elementor. After you start posting regularly you can always come back and add a section highlighting your best work using a pre-existing design. For now, let's keep things simple. After you decide on the skeleton, hit update. Second, customize this page and make it yours. I'm going to name this the skins blog. Over here in about me, I'm writing a short intro about what uh, people can expect once they reach this blog. Click on update. So clearly the skin has a lot of things to write about this means that she will need categories to organize her posts let's give her that let's click on this menu icon and select view page to see how our website is currently looking okay not bad now let's customize this header and footer for that let's click on customize always remember to edit a page we select edit with elementor but to edit the header and footer we need to select customize select header builder I do not want this logo so I am going to delete it. There is a nice button over here. I'm going to call it Hire Me. And using the left hand side panel, I'm going to point this button to the resume website we have just built. If you haven't built a resume website and don't want this button here, then just right click and delete it. I do not want all of these unnecessary pages in the menu bar. So, let's remove them by clicking on this blue edit icon. Click on configure menu from here, hit edit menu and I'm going to remove everything except for home. And I'll hit publish. But Tuskeen, what about all those books, travel and technology posts you were going to make? How can your users access them? Relax. We are going to give easy access to all of these categories once we create them. But before that, let's sort out our footer. I'm removing widgets that I do not need and add a widget that points to my socials. Let's assume I want to give a link to my YouTube. 
Instagram and Twitter. If you are active on Quora, do not be shy to include that link as well because, well, after all, you are showing off your writing skills or even your expertise in an area. I want all of these to be center aligned and uh, not have two panels. So I'm going to click on the settings icon and on the left hand side, change column to one. There you go. So much better. Let's hit publish. You can also change this image to something you like, maybe from your travel or just some free image from the internet that resonates with you and hit update. Now let's go to view page. B E A beautiful. I can still see the logo. Let me go back and fix that. There we go. Now let's make this blog shine with all of our brilliant writing. For that, we need to do three things. First, let's create some categories. On this page, click on this drop down and click on dashboard. This is the WordPress dashboard where all the magic happens. On the left hand side panel, go to posts and then categories. I'm going to create three categories, books, travel and technology. You can even create subcategories like fiction under books. For that, make sure you select books under parent. After we have created these categories, the next thing to do is to make sure these categories are accessible via the primary menu. This means on your site, these categories should be visible right here. To do that, let's go back to our dashboard. Go to appearance menus select primary menu from this drop down and hit select select categories from this panel and select all the categories you want to add to the primary menu because we want fiction and non-fiction to be sub items let's drag them a little to the right you can even change the order in which they appear right here I want tech posts first and then travel and then books. Now click on save menu. Let's go to a site and see how it looks. Beautiful. Again, you do not need to have so many categories. You can just have one category that says my thoughts and post everything there. No issues. As you can see, all of these pages are pretty empty. So the third thing to do is to add a post. For that, let's go back to our dashboard, go to posts and click on add new. I think you can just use the block editor here. Using Elementor is not really required, but uh, you do you. Let's assume I am Robert Frost and I'm going to post my most famous poem here. If you feel like you need to add images in between your text, all you need to do is click on this plus icon. Search for an image and insert that image. I am just going to go with this one right here. Next on the right hand side, mention which category you want this post to appear under. I know this is a poem, but let's make this post appear under travel. You know, you know what I mean. You can also select a featured image right here. Hit preview to see what your post looks like. And if you're satisfied with it, click on publish. To view this post, you can either click on view post right here or go to the home page, click on travel listed on the primary menu and there you have it, your very first post. At any point you decide to delete or edit a post, you just need to go back to your dashboard and click on all posts. You can delete it by clicking on trash or just edit it. Maybe you want to move the post from one category to another or just change the size of your images. After you're done making the changes, hit update, hit view post, and there you have it. Super simple. And that's it. Congratulations. You've built your blog from scratch and you've made your very first post. If you don't want to know the rest of the three ways of building a simple blog page and how to integrate it with your resume website, then you can directly go to this minute and jump to the next section. But if you are that person who wants the best of both worlds, then let's quickly see the rest of the three ways you can use to build a blog. All right, so the second option is pretty simple. This step is the continuation of the resume website, which we had left off at this minute. Let's assume you are done building your resume website and now you just want an extra page. 
as we discussed earlier if you don't know how to start then the best place to figure out navigation is through h panel which is like your control room go to hpanel.hostinger.com click on manage click on dashboard edit website and click on visit site let's assume that all you want is a page here that says my thoughts to post your thoughts about the latest technology and your learnings anything really then all we need to do is go back to the dashboard click on posts categories let's rename this pre-existing category to my thoughts and hit update now that we have renamed a category we need to make sure that this category is accessible by adding it to the primary menu so that it gets displayed on our site on the left hand side go to appearance menu select primary menu select categories check this box that says my thoughts which is the category we just renamed and add to menu and hit on save menu let's check it by visiting our site again and there you have it you click on it and there is absolutely nothing now how to add a post for that go to the dashboard post and click on add new give it some title write something of course i'm sure you'd have a lot more to write about add an image if you feel like it you know what you need to do we have gone through these steps already if you want a longer version of this tutorial about how to add a new blog post then you can go to this minute after you're done journaling your thoughts on this right hand side panel make sure you select my thoughts under category hit preview to see how it looks and if you like it hit publish let's go back to our website click on my thoughts and there you have it my first post method number three creating a blog subdomain now let's assume that you want to create a blog that's a complete website in itself but you also want it to be closely related to your resume website in that case you can create a subdomain subdomains allow you to separate and organize your website content let me explain by showing you how to create one as usual go to h panel which is our starting point hit manage hit dashboard now go to domains and click on subdomains you know that this is the resume website that i've just created but i want to create a blog subdomain so i'll write my blog right here and then hit create subdomain created successfully now that we have created a subdomain we need to build it go back to the dashboard and in this drop down select the subdomain you want to edit which is the my blog subdomain that we just created by the way this is how you can toggle between multiple subdomains and your domain so select the subdomain that you want to edit as i said earlier a subdomain is a website in itself so we need to do the whole shebang of installing wordpress ssl getting a base theme a builder and choosing a starter template but you are a pro by now so let's quickly go through all of it i'll hit install next to wordpress enter my wordpress password add a title that will help you identify your blog let's call it my blog hit next and install hit install next to ssl install your ssl certificate either from here or by visiting the ssl tab right here give it a few minutes to get fully active i obviously needed a new ssl certificate but i wrote to the hostinger team about creating a new subdomain and they added like 10 certificates to my account free of cost i'm not promising that they'll do it for you too but try next click on edit website but before you do that double check that this drop down points to your subdomain and not your main domain now we need to repeat the entire process where we go to appearance install astra activate hit on get started build your website now choose elementor and this is where we finally choose the block template we want let's select sierra nature again skip and continue continue enter some basic details click on this button wait for a while while your website is being built click on view your website and there you have it a new subdomain which is related to your resume website but is a whole new website in itself as you know we've already gone through the step-by-step -step process of editing this template already you can watch it again by going to this minute where you will find out how to edit this template create multiple categories displaying those categories here and how to write a blog post to watch all of it again you can go to this minute but wait because you also have a resume website do not forget to make this blog button of yours point to your resume website using this panel on your left isn't it nice somebody will just randomly read an article you wrote and might also end up looking at your resume and interviewing you for your dream job the possibilities of the world wide web are endless 
hang on you just gave a link on your blog to reach your resume but you can also provide a link on your resume website to reach your blog for that let's go to h panel again click on manage go to dashboard select your main domain name from this drop down click on edit website we've reached the main website's dashboard over here go to appearance menu select primary menu and add a custom link that's pointing to your subdomain let's call this one my blog click on add to menu and save menu let's click on visit website and there you have it a link to your blog which is a subdomain of your main website and it looks like a stand alone website by itself so brilliant if you're happy with this option well and good but the problem with having a subdomain is that your main domain name will always be associated with it it will always be blog.maindomainname.com but let's assume you want to build a blog that has nothing to do with your main resume website this brings us to the fourth option creating multiple websites now let's assume that you want to create a brand new website for your blog this is where the 100 websites feature of the premium plan comes in handy by the way your second website doesn't have to be a blog it can be business personal portfolio anything you want so here are the steps to creating a second website and adding that to the premium plan first let's get a new domain name for that go to h panel and click on this domains tab click on get a new domain and search for a name you like let's assume i want to call it theskin.com it's not available let's try mysimpleworld.com it's not available but there are other dot options available i'll maybe buy dot tech or dot online next choose the payment option that you like the most and complete the payment after that you will see a screen like this with a button that says add website select the hosting plan you want to add this to which is the premium share hosting plan we bought at the beginning of this video and hit confirm website connected successfully brilliant you might get a warning like this that it might take 24 hours for the domain name to propagate but in reality it took a few seconds for me now go to home and you will see that two websites are listed under premium shared hosting my main resume website and the new website that i just bought click on manage click on dashboard here's an important tip The drop down on the left hand side will help you navigate between multiple websites associated with this plan which is two in my case and you can use a drop down on the right hand side to navigate between the subdomains you have created within a website If you're confused about what a subdomain is you can always go back to this minute to refresh your memory Remember you can add up to 100 websites to this plan. So if you have a domain name in your mind for starting a business, a blog or even for your children, buy that domain name right away and add it to this premium plan. That way you will have that domain name secure for at least a year. And because you've spent money acquiring it, it will give you the motivation to start working on it. Now what to do after adding a website to the premium plan? The same shebang. Go to H panel, click on manage, dashboard Select the new website from the drop-down menu on the left. Install WordPress. Install WordPress. Get the SSL certificate. Get a theme, a builder. Pick a starter template, and then choose whatever website you want to build: business, personal, portfolio, blog, or more. If you want to watch how to do all of this again, then you can go back to this minute. I know that was a lot. This tutorial might look exhaustive, but I have barely scratched the surface with what WordPress, Astra, the starter templates and Hostinger have to offer. So get ready to explore this beautiful world of creating your own online presence. Word of caution though, there will be times when the process will get on your nerves. Sometimes maybe because of your browser settings you will try to upload an image to the media library and it won't happen. There was another error where I changed the text of the button in the header and was reflecting when I was loading the home page but not for other pages. I was literally pulling my hair but when I woke up the next day it was working fine. I'm a YouTuber. My bread and butter comes from making things appear easy for you. But I have to set your expectations right. You will encounter a few roadblocks and it won't be a walk in the park. but it will be so much better than having to code all of it by yourself and having to deal with html or those god awful css pages so do not wait any longer the initial setup and design are the easy part it's more important to post on your website regularly and keep your portfolio updated 
I wouldn't have found a better sponsor for this video than Hostinger. To tell you a little bit about them, they are the only brand in India to provide affordable hosting with great features like free domain, free SSL, free email, etc. They have a new data center in Mumbai and with that comes great speed and uptime. But the reason I am promoting them is because the customer support team has been so good at replying back to all of my questions from creating a subdomain to making the website faster. And they did not know I was making a video. So if you think Hostinger is the right option for you too, then don't forget to click the link in the description, which will directly apply the code TUF7 at checkout to get you a sweet discount on your hosting plan. If you want to refresh your memory about how and what to buy, then you can go back to this minute that will take you through the process of buying the premium hosting plan. And before I give you the bonus tip, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon because we make career and finance videos that are crisp, super helpful and to the point because we respect your time. I know it was a long video, but this is the fastest I can be. When I was expecting, I created a baby stuff list, you know, a shopping list of things to buy for the baby. I forwarded it to every friend I knew who was also expecting and I'm sure they would have forwarded it to their friends. Now imagine if I would have sent a website link that had links to buying these products. It would have grown organically. It's not a business for me, but it would be a great business for someone who also has the drive to pursue it relentlessly. So today's bonus tip is this, start now. Building a website is the easy part. Writing, designing, coding, public speaking, digital marketing, video editing and learning any other skill. That's the tough part because it takes constant practice. So while you're practicing and learning, share it on your website to find work, to help people find you, to let people know that you know your stuff. After that, it won't take very long to make money. Creating websites is also a skill that you can actually make money out of by creating websites for other businesses that are waiting to get online. So start now. Comment and tell me what kind of website you want to start building first. For example, I'm going to build a portfolio website first or a blog website first. I'll be waiting to read your comments. And if you think Hostinger is the right option for you too, then don't forget to click the link in the description to get a sweet discount and book your dream domain right now. I am Taskeen, this is The Urban Fight and I will see you in the next video.